Welcome back. You're with AM. Thanks to our partner, Wild Bean Cafe. It is time for our panel of the day now. Auckland Business Chamber CEO Simon Bridges and Auckland Councillor Josephine Barley. Good morning to you both. Morena. I want to start quickly just by asking, are you all good, Simon? You had yeah. a wee little accident. Uh, that's How just are you doing? my cast there. Um, look, it's, it's not ideal, and, but I feel very lucky. I mean, the horror stories you hear about people on uh, e-scooters and just the, the orthopaedic surgeons and the stories they tell me. So I, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not calling for anything around it. Personally, though, as a middle-aged man, I will never get back on one. <laughs> Were you sober? <laughs> <laughs> what a scurrilous thing to say. But you're not the first person to ask that question. <laughs> Actually, I was working. I was between meetings, and I think that was part of the issue. Is I had all this paperwork under my, my arm, and so uh -huh. I was sort of writing one and a half. So uh, one and a half hands, and I was going along very close to the studio, actually, on my way to this meeting, and there was a little dip, and, you know, I unked it, and it wasn't wasn't good. But I, I hit my face. I hit that. Oh, As I say, no. actually, look, yeah. really badly broken wrist, but I came off very lightly, and um, no, I feel very... You know, whilst I've got a short-term issue, I feel very fortunate uh, given some of the cases. Maybe get you a satchel. Yeah, a satchel. Bag. Actually, yeah, I think I think now I understand why people do wear the old <laughs> over-the-shoulder kind of man bags. Anyway. Um, well, we're we're uh, happy to have you here and glad you're recovering. Um, and we are talking uh, traffic gridlock this morning, both in Tauranga and around the rest of the country. Per capita, what city or town has the worst congestion? We have had a lot of entries. Um, Josephine, what do you think? Would Auckland have to be up there even though we have the big population? Oh, for sure. I mean, a lot of people, that's what they talk about, you know, at the family gatherings. We just had one, my cousin's 50th, and everyone was talking about <laughs> congestion and getting stuck in traffic and intersections that are so dangerous. And it's a major issue for us, maybe not per capita wise, but... Definitely, we feel it in Auckland, yeah. And yep. you're obviously from Tauranga initially, yeah. so... Um, I mean, I think just quick, quickly on Auckland, that's why I was riding an e-scooter, right? It's because, yeah. like, you know, you kind of got two options. You don't want to drive your car in the CBD because you can't find a park, so you e-scooter or Uber. So now Ubering is doing very well out of me as a result of this. But I think you could make a case for Tauranga. Um, so I hear, I hear Lloyd on that, and then you know, I both have some, some history around that. I mean, I think in relation to this specific whole... I get it, these things happen and, um, you know, that's a very busy part of the city and coming into the city. Um, what I, and I can, so I can understand the sort of work from home at a level, although, you know, I, I still live in Matua, it's completely the other side of the city, so what, am I not meant to come in for the city? I think, I think the other thing, just while I'm on a real roll here, but what, you know, what, what you were saying, Lloyd, I mean, if you think about it, when Lloyd grew up in Tauranga, it was maybe 50,000 people. Mm. It's now more like 150,000 people. So it's had massive growth. And the demographics was probably different too, right? Totally. Maybe so just, older people who weren't driving around as much. So it's not, it just hasn't kept up with that, particularly the local roads. Mm. I'd love to be able to get on a train in Auckland, just to take the train down to Tauranga. I'd love to be able to get on the train from the airport in Auckland and train home. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yes, but that would require a new train line being built. Whereas already, oh, there's already one yeah. down to Tauranga. Yeah, wasn't there one before? Oh, yeah, right, right. Yeah, I was on an e-scooter when I was in Papamoa. So I needed to get to the markets, and I was like, how am I going to get there? And I saw my nephew's scooter, so, yep. Jumped on it. It was cool. See, they're cool. Yeah, and then now heaps of the e-scooters have got seats on them. Have you seen the new ones yes. that have come out? No, They've got no. seats. Were you on one of those no. ones? No. Okay. But I feel like that would be safer. A seat would sitting, be safer. But yeah. then I saw someone hooning past me somewhere in the last 24 hours, like, on an, a, a decline, and I thought, actually, that doesn't look that safe. And then no. I saw someone else with, like, a three-year-old kind of hanging on to them. I was wow. just like, oh, man, after my experience, there's not... Yeah, there's not smart. It yeah, it just shows the importance of having alternative means to get around the city. Mm. Um, what about a stadium? And when we're talking about the city, a waterfront stadium that would be something iconic um, that tourists would flock to. Josephine, there are obviously these four options out there for proposals. Yeah. What do you think of them? I mean, I don't want to poo-poo the idea, but, um, you know, talking about Sydney, well, I'd love it if we got our public transport system up to the same levels as Sydney. So you um, think, actually, that's the priority? We shouldn't think, even be talking about stadiums? Uh, I think, yep, that's the priority. What's the point in having a big, massive, flash stadium if you can't get to it? Um, but also uh, sharing the love with the rest of our city because we've got awesome stadiums that are so in need of an upgrade um, and they're pulling their weight. They're still at Waikaraka Park with what they're pulling in for their um, speedway and their stock and saloon cars events but so desperately in need of an upgrade. So we've got other parts of the city that need that attention 
Um, but acknowledging what the city centre plays for Auckland. But you're not going to, I mean, and I, I agree those stadiums are really important and they have big communities around them, but Simon, we're not going to pull in an Olympic Games or, or large-scale events by upgrading... Maybe not at Olympic park, Games, but I, I, I think, you know, and we were just talking before off air on about the Symphony and the, the park or whatever it's called. Amazing, right? We do need more of that. So I sit there and say, stadiums are important because events are important. Yeah. And the reason events are important, obviously, because we enjoy them and it's art and culture and sport and all those things, but actually it's economic activity. And it's not just the actual event, it's the bars, the restaurants, the hospitality, the, um, the retail and so on. So personally, I'm a fan. I think, you know, if you think about a good city, it, it needs something this and Auckland is you know New Zealand's biggest city um, I like this one I think it, it the things about it are it's um, iconic design I like the location because I think actually a public transport sense is good it's got some powerful backers but in a way we don't want to get hung up on the various kind of options it's kind of like let the decision makers work through that I, I do think Josephine's got a point I think the cost thing is definitely like where's yeah. this going to fall what the what the boosters will always say is oh this is cool because the private development of the hotels and so on, they'll pay for it. In the end, I think you could be a bit sceptical about, about that. And that's why the Eden Park one's definitely in contention, I think, because actually you've got a stadium, they'll just be putting on the roof. Now, that'll still be expensive, but it won't be billions and billions of dollars. Yeah. So let's see where they get to. But personally, I will always say a great Bigger stadium for Auckland, but maybe it's a maybe it's a more bijou small one downtown, like a twenty thousand. If it, go if to it can pay for itself, though, like or, or someone else, well, can that's fun. Yeah. taxpayers and um, ratepayers, yeah. great, bring I'm it on for it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But are, are, are we not going? You know, is it really paid for? Like, yeah, what if they get halfway through it and it needs yeah. a bailout? And the ongoing operational costs. Yeah. you know what I mean. Who's going to pick that up? Because well, the council's going to. Have to pay. Yeah, I always worry with this stuff. It's like you go for the Rolls Royce option, and. The problem with that is we'll still be talking about it in 40 years' time, right? Because in the end, the funders, aka, aka central government and local government, say, well, we can't do that. Mm -hmm. We've still got a public transport system fix. We've got roads and tow roads that we need to do. Second Harbour Crossing that yeah. we can, you know, got, got a, you've got cloud, the cloud there that's what's supposed to be a temporary structure for crew. But I don't want to be general. negative. Let's be negative. It's a good idea. It's amazing. It's lovely. And, and, you know, and, and Auckland does need the likes of a. Um, a uh, Sydney Opera House, I think, so, something really special. People say, "Yeah, that is amazing." We've, you know, we've had a hard, not impossible, but a hard few years, and it's time to lift our sights. But then also the other thing that drew visitors to Auckland, there was this one ad that Tataki Auckland Unlimited had, and it was the natural environment, the Maunga, the Māori identity. That was probably one of their best ads, and and overseas tourists came for for that aspect. I was at the International Buskers Festival. They did this thing where they asked everybody, "Where are you from?" Most of them were all from overseas, and they came here. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, Super Bowl today. What are you most interested in? Usher, Taylor Swift, <laughs> or <laughs> the football? Uh, I have. Or none like, of the above. Like, this is not just. Like, I have zero interest. Like, um, I'd rather watch my mother-in-law painting her toenails. Right? <laughs> just because it's such an American kind of thing. It is not my. Gig. That said, actually watching the ads just before that, I like the ads. I like. I do like seeing the celebrity. I watched that. If you saw the Christopher Walken one, because that was on a, one of the websites this morning. Um, yeah, it's a great ad. So I, I kind of like seeing. I suppose I do like the glitz, but in terms of Super Bowl, like I'm just. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like <laughs> Halloween and all these things. I'm just resisting this American cultural kind of assault on New Zealand. We, we need our own cultural iconic events. OK. Like rugby. Um, I, I, my brother came here for a 50th and he went back specifically to get home to Australia in time to watch the, the Super Bowl. But my, my only concern with that was whether Taylor was going to make it in time to watch um, Travis play. Yes. Well, so, she's there. It's OK, yeah. Josephine. She did, eh? Hey? She landed anymore. in time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love them. Did you hear about these Swifties who are going to Sydney... They haven't even got tickets just to be there while she is there. Yeah, yeah. I can they understand. Have a, they have a rave in a car park. Or like, you know, the dictionary is adding that to the definition of yes. sad. That's I mean, why we need a stadium. They're probably creating their own word. Taylor has played. She played at Mount Smart. 
see, so, you know, <laughs> our stadiums pull their way. Although what, but, what Eden Park would have me say is the problem is they're only allowed to do whatever it is. I'm not putting this all on you at council, but they're only allowed to do like six big shows a year. Yeah. Or something, is that right? because of the residential area? Yeah, all of that yeah. stuff, yeah, right, so, as I understand yeah. it. It's, so let's change that. Like yeah, yeah. Might yeah. have come. Yeah, the absolutely. council needs to change that because it's like... Then, then all, the, all the people who live next to it get to enjoy it as well. Yeah, live yeah, a little. Get a free concert. Hopefully they enjoy it. Exactly. Thanks get so a free much, concert. Guys. Live uh, a little. Auckland yeah. Business Chamber CEO Simon Bridges and Auckland Councillor Josephine Bartley, 22 past eight.